This video is the work of 17 school nurses in the Caesar Rodney School District. It's just one part of their plan to continue to address the health needs of students and their families during this challenging time. And with most teachers uh, transferring their curriculum from a physical classroom into the World Wide Web, we wanted to know how school nurses are making out with that transition. One of those school nurses is Rebecca Gravett of the Mapplevane Early Childhood Center, and she joins us via Zoom. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Lisa, how are you? I am doing great. Thank you for, for uh, getting up with us on uh, this virtual interview. Um, when you learned that schools were gonna close, you and your cohorts, what was the first thing you did? Well, we actually found out about that before we left on Friday the 13th. So Saturday morning, Friday evening, we got that word. And we realized Saturday we had medications that our children were going to need in our building. So our first thing was getting a hold of parents who had medicines, particularly our diabetics with insulin. There was a bit of a shortage at that time, so they were panicked. So we needed to get that out to them as quickly as we could. Once we did that... Wow moving into um, trying to help the kids understand what had happened and make sense of, of all of this. Sure, sure, because these are little kids. Yes, minor, minor five-year-olds. Now, we um, work as a district. We have all ages from five up until, you know, until they graduate high school. And have you been able to uh, stay connected with those students? We have. We have. We've really been enjoying. We've used Zoom like we're using for this interview. And we've popped in on some of our kids' classrooms, which has been a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun watching them do their lessons uh, in a new way. And they're doing fabulous with it. They're amazing. And we get to drop in and drop some health tips along the way, reminders about washing their hands, um, covering coughs and sneezes, all the things they need to do, social distancing. And, of course, you made the, the, the video, which we all thought was awesome. Uh, tell us about you. that. Thank you. Well, we had a lot of fun with um, putting that together. Of course, we were doing it remotely. We actually had, there was a nurse in Wisconsin that did a similar video and she shared that with us and it inspired us. We wanted to do one for our students and she welcomed that. And so we used part of what she did and put our own spin on it. And it really, we were very happy with how it turned out. Yeah, yeah. And you're, you're producing a second one? We are. Um, Kim Pop is actually working on one. I tried to get Kim to do this interview. She's the <laughs> one that puts our videos together or put these together. She's working on one right now on PPE so that when students go to doctor's appointments and they see people behind the gear, we don't want them to be nervous about that. So it's geared to the younger students to help them understand what PPE is all about. That's amazing. Um, you've also used this time for continuing education. We have. We've, um, it, it's been really nice that we've gotten a chance to uh, log into some really good webinars. The Epilepsy Foundation did a great one for us, a three-hour one for school nurses specifically that uh, updated us on some of the newer emergency meds that have come out recently and just protocols, reminders, refreshers on protocols for caring for students with seizures in the school. And that was really good. We actually have one we're going to be um, taking part in tomorrow that talks about the disparities with COVID and addresses that. And again, it's geared to school nurses. So we're excited about that too. Uh, this is a, typically a, a busy time with uh, kindergarten registration as well, isn't it? <laughs> yes, very busy. By now we typically have over 300 students enrolled for the next year, but we typically have over 500 kindergarten students. So we work furiously to get all those students registered. It's a little more cumbersome now. We're doing it all through emails. Um, and I know I'm gonna be setting up meetings with parents. I was hoping to be able to get that done before their students start. We may end up having to even Skype, or uh, I'm sorry, Zoom parents to do meetings to mm -hmm. set up their plans for their children that have um, diabetes or asthma, food allergies, specific ones that need very specific plans. Well, Rebecca, thank you for all you and the other school nurses around Delmarva do for our children. It was wonderful talking to you, Rebecca. Thank Rebecca, you. a school nurse with McElvain Early Childhood Center. Have a great day and thank you. Thank you, Lisa, you too.